Hi boys and girls! Today's learning target is I can log into Typing Pal and practice my typing skills. So typing or keyboarding is using your computer keyboard to write and to put your thoughts out into the world. Especially for us doing remote learning, this is a super important thing to know how to do. But even just going forward in your school and eventually grown-up life, typing is tremendously important. We use it all the time to send emails, to write stuff, to plan stuff, to post on social media. It's all with the keyboard. Now, you already are probably using the keyboard and you might just, you know, use one or two fingers to find the keys as you go. But this program, Typing Pal, is going to help you learn how to keyboard with all of your fingers touching the keyboard at the same time. And eventually you will build up muscle memory, which is when your body just remembers where the keys are, so you won't have to look. That eventually will make you a fast typer. In fact, some people prefer typing to writing by hand because they can type almost as fast as they think. Um, so you can take the words in your brain and get them out before you forget or for something else like that. Um, so it's really important and we're gonna get started today. So let me show you what it looks like when you log in and show you how the program works. Okay, let me show you how to log into Typing Pal. First, we're going to go to Classwork. Now you could use the link up here in the future, but for right now, we're going to go to today's lesson, Friday, 1023 ELA Typing. Here it is. I can log into Typing Pal and practice my typing skills. You're going to watch, well, the video you're watching right now. And then you're going to click this link to log in. When I click it, it takes me here. I'm going to log in with a student account, not my teacher account, so I can show you what it looks like from the kid's side. Your usernames will be your first initial and then your last name. This example kid account is Jan Doe, so I'm going to type J Doe. Your password is the same as your password for Google or for iReady. Conway, and then your lunch number. Then you click Log In. I'm not going to save that password because that's the student account. So check up here and make sure that it's showing your name. At the beginning, It'll give you some basic advice about typing and how to keyboard well. You can go over to Learn, and this will give you all of the lessons. By scrolling down, you can see here's the preparation stuff, the advice about typing that we saw on the other page, and the initial test. Once you finish that test, it'll give you tips like you need to improve your accuracy, your speed, or both. It'll sort of tell you what you need to work on. Down here are the actual lessons. At the end of each chunk of lessons, there's a test. Looking at the other sections, the Move On section has places for you to learn useful words and other activities like that. It also has some typing games. They'll help you learn the keyboard. The results section tells you about your progress. It'll also show your scores on each of the lessons and the tests and just gives you a sense of how you're doing. You can click different parts of the results section to see things like your calendar, what days you practiced. Uh, well, we don't have any accuracy or speed yet because this example student hasn't done any. And any badges you've earned for practicing. Right now I'm going to go back to the home screen. You're going to start with the basic advice videos. 
but I'm going to show you what the test looks like so you can get an idea. Remember, I'm a grown-up typer, so my speed is probably going to be a little different than yours. Now, this cute little shark character says, the initial test is not compulsory, which is a fancy way of saying it's not required. It gives you an idea of your accuracy and speed on the keyboard. You'll be given a short text to type, the results of which will be saved for you to compare with your final test. Warning, you can only do this test once. Stay calm and don't try to go too quickly. Good luck. It's telling you where to put your fingers when you type. Okay, so you're going to be typing this down here. Here I go. Oh, I made a mistake. See how it underlined that with red? I'll make another mistake so you can see how it looks. Oh, look at that. It's not even letting me type it. There we go. Oh, and it, even after I fixed it, it marked it with a red line. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Oh dear, so many mistakes. Now, before I go on, you can pause this if you need to take a break. That's probably a good idea because there's a lot of typing to do here. You can restart it. The options give you, you can turn statistics off and on and things like that. Sound effects, but that's all this is. Okay, where did I leave off? Friendly. Well, look at that. So when you're done, it gives you this gives you your accuracy. Out of 100, how accurate were you? How many keys did you press correctly? Um, so 100% would be perfect. I did pretty good. I'm close to 100. Uh, the lower the number is, the more mistakes you made. Here's a mistake count. And this is the speed. WPM means words per minute. I typed 36 words per minute. That's pretty good. By clicking Next Activity, it'll take you to your first lesson. Now I'm ready for Exercise 1. To pass Exercise 1, I need to get 80% or more accurate. So pretty accurate. That's kind of a huge number, close to 100. I need to have 30 or fewer mistakes, and I need to type at least eight words per minute. This lesson targets the letters J and F. Again, it's reminding us of our correct finger placement and how to type those letters correctly. So, after seeing me take the initial test, you need to decide whether you want to start with this initial test so that you have your beginning to compare to, or if that looked super hard and you don't think you're ready for that, when you log in today, still watch the basic advice, the first part here, but then you can go to learn and scroll down to step one, the first exercise. So, the initial test is a good idea to do, and if you're feeling up to it, go for it. But if that looked a little too hard and crazy, it's all right to skip it and go straight to the lessons. Okay, that's all for now. See you in the next video.